Happy holidays, everybody. It's the end of 2014, and as the dawn inevitably follows the night, every top 10 list must be followed with a bottom 10 list. Critics don't like to be mean. We don't like to be negative. I know we get a bad rap in that department, but you know, sometimes at the end of the year, you have to look back and think about what everyone else did wrong. Uh, a lot of usual suspects on my bottom 10 list this year. Adam Sandler's back. So is Johnny Depp. So is the late Ayn Rand. Uh, but topping the list this year in a very competitive category uh, was The Identical, the rather loony faith-based movie about what would have happened if Elvis's twin had lived and been a preacher's son while Elvis was Elvis in a world where Elvis actually also existed. And um, uh, you know what, I, just even trying to remember this movie is kind of making my head swim. It's confusing and bizarre and makes very little sense and is riddled with anachronisms and is one of the worst directed and written things all year. Um, starring an actor who is a really good Elvis impersonator, not so much of an actor really, and uh, I'm sure the Elvis part will give him a career in that department. What Ray Liotta and um, Ashley Judd are doing along for the ride, I have no idea. Uh, this is the, of the, all the bad movies of 2014, The Identical is the only one that I suspect will have a future as a midnight movie. Uh, maybe double bill it with the Oogie Loves, I don't know. Um, but it's a, a, a hot plate of crazy. And it's, I think, if not already out on DVD, coming soon. So if you missed it, and you probably did, Keep an eye out. Uh, but yeah, that would be absolutely my rock bottom of 2014. Here's hoping for better movies in 2015, for all of our sakes. Uh, if you want to read my complete bottom 10 list of 2014, visit The Wrap.